walked to the door and he asked a couple of very intelligent questions. And then we let him audition for the voice of Batman. And it was truly the eureka moment that you wish for. Bruce and I looked at each other and just, you could see the stress of months of auditions just fall from our faces because we had found Batman. It was remarkable. How's it going, guys? Uh, today's video, uh, second video, if you will, um, I was actually going to release a separate video today, an additional one on the Batman 2, but I'm not going to release that till tomorrow for obvious reasons. And the second video that I found myself making is obviously something I don't want to make. It's, it's something I didn't expect to make, and I'm sure you've all heard by now uh, that Kevin Conroy, the the Batman. We have learned today that he passed away yesterday on Thursday at the age of 66 after a short battle with cancer. Now, honestly, I don't... It's, it's kind of weird making one of these videos because you never really expect stuff like this to happen. And this reminds me of what I'm going to play at the end of this video. I've had a subscriber reach out to me through Instagram and they have shared with me a video that Kevin Conroy sent them, a part of Cameo, and it really touched me. I, I feel like you guys are really going to be left off with a meaningful, profound memory of Kevin Conroy. Not that you didn't already have that because he is just amazing and we'll get to that in a second, but Truly, stick around to the end of this video. I actually implore you because the video that I'm going to let roll just embodies, personifies, whatever word you want to use, the, the kind-hearted man he was. And I'm sure many of you have actually met him at cons before, or maybe you've received a cameo yourself. But enough about that for a second. Just please stick around to the end of the video because it is just, um, you'll see for yourself. So I feel like it goes without saying. I, I feel like, you know, a lot of people are going to say this, but Kevin Conroy is the Batman. It, he is quite simply the Batman. I, like many of you, I'm 28 years old. <laughs> I had to like think for a second then. And, you know, one of the first animated shows I ever watched, along with other shows, you know, like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles back then, Spider-Man animated series, but of course was... Batman the Animated Series. And Kevin Conroy brought Batman to life along with that show in a way that I, I think solidified that character in a way that's just truly unparalleled by any other person who's played Batman. And I know that's almost like a tropey thing to say at this point about Kevin Conroy, but it is just true. We've had other Batmans out there, Batman, if you will, um, you know, name who you will, but nobody has, has played Batman in over 60 different productions, you know, all of these episodes of the animated series, you know, Mask of the Phantasm, other projects, other movies in the DC animated universe, video games. That's another thing as well. After watching Batman the animated series as a child and then growing up and, and, and gaming with how things progressed there, and that's when the Arkham series came out, you experienced it in another way. It's just a, an actor who is every step along the way personified that role and to the point of where I feel like if you read a comic book or anything like that with Batman's voice in it, it is Kevin Conroy that, that you hear in your head. And I, I don't think that will ever change. It's a similar thing to Mark Hamill's Joker. If I read The Man Who Laughs off my shelf there, I would hear Mark Hamill's Joker over that of Heath Ledger's or anyone else. It's just certain, I mean, that, that may be different for different people, but you know that certain actors have made profound impacts with their portrayal when they are more or less the quintessential casting, um, in, in this case, the voice acting of that very character. And I think the reason why Batman the Animated Series, and obviously that is arguably the most popular, had such appeal is because not only could you play it for kids, you know, like myself when I was younger, and I'm sure, I mean, I will be playing playing to them one day, but also it appeals to an adult audience like myself. Now, I, I want to, you know, I've been talking about rewatching uh, Batman the Animated Series recently, and it, it, it has these darker tones, darker elements. It had this vision that really wanted to get into Batman in the sincerity of how Kevin Conroy could, you know, have those episodes where he was really tender as Batman, very vulnerable, but then you had these other moments where it, it got pretty, pretty dark. And I believe believe around that time as well because I haven't gone in the behind the scenes side of things in, in, a, in a minute uh, but that really wasn't so much of a thing back then in, in the 90s. Kevin Conroy is is just 
yeah, this unprecedented Batman who I think is arguably one of, if not the most important, considering the bridge that was forged with Kevin Conroy's Batman and how that bled in from the 90s into the 2000s and opened up all of these new avenues and transformations for Batman that arguably might not have been there, you know, if you look at a parallel world, if it wasn't for the likes of Kevin Conroy and his performance as the Cape Crusader. Now, I want to read out quite a chunk of this press release because I think it's quite important to see the summary of how much Kevin Conroy has actually accomplished. Also, we have some comments from other actors like Mark Hamill. So it goes as follows. Actor Kevin Conroy, the most beloved voice of Batman in the animated history of the character, died Thursday at age 66 after a short battle with cancer. A noted stage, film, and television performer, Conroy rose to unparalleled voice acting fame as a title character of the landmark Batman, the animated series, 1992 to 1996. He would establish never-to-be-broken records as the quintessential voice of Batman, bringing the superhero to animated life in nearly 60 different productions, including 15 films highlighted by the acclaimed Batman Mask of the Phantasm, 15 animated series spanning nearly 400 episodes and more than 100 hours of television, as well as two dozen video games. Conroy was also featured as a live Live action Bruce Wayne in the Arrow vs. 2019 to 2020 Crisis on Infinite Earths crossover event. In recent years, Conroy was a notable fixture on the con circuit, greeting fans with the same warmth respect and enthusiasm they reserve for him. Kevin was perfection, recalled Mark Hamill, who redefined the Joker playing opposite Conroy's Batman. He was one of my favorite people on the planet, and I loved him like a brother. He truly cared for the people around him. His decency shone through everything he did. Every time I saw him or spoke with him, my spirits were elevated. Born on November 30th, 1955 in Westbury, New York, and raised in Westport, Conroy began establishing himself in the acting community while under the tutelage of John Houseman at the Juilliard School, where he studied alongside the likes of Christopher Reeve, Francis Conroy, and his roommate, Robin Williams. Conroy began his career following his love of the theater, keeping him on stage in both New York and the Old Globe Theater in San Diego. The actor received rave reviews for his starring performances in A Midsummer Night's Dream at the Public Theater, but it was his incomparable nuanced performance as the voice of Batman that put Conroy on the map and the fans' radar when Batman the Animated Series debuted on September 5th, 1992. From that point on, Conroy would forever be linked to the Dark Knight. In the TV series like Batman Beyond and Justice League, Justice League Unlimited, films ranging from Batman the Killing Joke and Batman Gotham Knight to Batman and Mr. Freeze Sub-Zero and Batman Mystery of the Batwoman and more than two dozen games. Kevin was a brilliant actor, Hamill said. For several generations, he has been the definitive Batman. It was one of those perfect scenarios where they got the exact right guy for the exact right part, and the world was better for it. His rhythms and subtleties, tones and delivery, that all also helped inform my performance. He was the ideal partner. It was such a complimentary, creative experience. I couldn't have done it without him. He will always be my Batman. So it's needless to say that Kevin Conroy's had an incomparable impact on a lot of uh, our lives on this channel because, you know, despite me trying to cover a variety of content here, it's, it's needless to say at the same time that we've got quite a core Batman audience here. So I'm sure just like me, many, if not all of you, have some experience and love for Kevin Conroy's portrayal as the Dark Knight, the Cape Crusader, and he's just going to be severely, severely missed. And I I'm going to rewatch the animated series, relive nostalgia, but relive his talent, relive his Batman, a, a Batman that I feel like had every color on the color palette that you'd want in the story that not every project out there gets the opportunity to explore, but thematically, the animated series and Kevin Conroy's performance in many, many, many different episodes, you know, or movies, you know, one of the most popular being, of course, Mask of the Phantasm. It's, it's just, ah, uh, I, I feel like I'm rambling at this point, but I, I wish I could concisely articulate justice to Kevin Conroy's name, but I, I don't feel like I can do that. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I'm going to leave this video off on some words from Kevin Conroy himself. Uh, I want to give a big thank you to the subscriber who sent this in to me. I, I feel like this video is 
just really sums up who Kevin Conroy is. Obviously, as many of you know, and as it said in the press release, and you may have experienced in person, Kevin Conroy did a lot of you know, fan meets, greets at cons or, you know, cameo videos like this. And it, it wasn't one of those cameo videos where, you know, someone's just being paid and it's like, hey, you know, I am Vengeance, I am the Knight, I am Batman. It, he always offered this extra level to it. He didn't need to. He could have just said, hi, you know, your friend asked me to do this for you. Uh, but he went above and beyond. Like, and you'll see what I mean in this video. And I feel like this video is very important to just take a memory away from who Kevin Conroy was, not only as Batman, you know, because he does a little voiceover as Batman, but the, the, the person he was, the wisdom he had, the life he lived and what he shares in this video, the life advice he can give you that is, you know, incredibly profound. Um, when I watched it, it, it definitely, you know, teared me up and just, um, I don't know, it, it just gave me these life lessons that I feel like a lot of us forget every day. Uh, as, as I said at the beginning of the video, you, you don't expect these things to happen in a naive way of me saying it, but I feel like we're all kind of like that. Life sometimes just hits you. And as Kevin Conroy says in this video, life is all about these curveballs. It, it just kind of offers you this, I don't want to sound cringy, but it, it just makes you feel reassured in a matter of speaking, in the way he offers this advice about just everything that he says. Um, so you'll see what I mean. Kevin Conroy is a legend, will always be a legend. He will never be forgotten and most certainly will be so sorely missed. This is Batman calling from Wayne Manor with a shout out for your cousin wanted me to send you this. So this is just for you. I am vengeance. I am the knight. I am Batman. And remember, it's not who you are underneath. It's what you do that defines you. <laughs> okay, now this is Kevin. So, you've got a pretty cool cousin. You just wanted Batman to send you a shout out. That's pretty awesome. Um, the fun thing about doing this character for so long has been this interaction I've gotten to have with the fans because the Batman fans are, are passionate about the character. And I think it's because of all the superheroes, he's the one who's not a superhero. He doesn't have any superpowers. He can't fly, he can't bend metal. He only has his body and his mind to serve him in his mission. He's really more of a detective. They call him the great detective. And his mission is to heal the world of evil, to leave it a better place. It's such a noble cause. They also love his tenacity. The audience also admires Batman's tenacity. The fact that he never gives up, never. It's like he can't give up. And those are, those are qualities we can all aspire to in our lives. To, to contribute, to leave the world better than we found it, and to be tenacious in our pursuits. There's a third lesson, I call it the cautionary lesson of what not to do. Because like I said, he's human and his biggest flaw is that he can't let people in. He's a loner, he's an island. And you can't live that way, you just can't, especially if you're gonna give the way he does. You need somewhere to go to replenish all that energy. And the place we all go to is our family or our friends or our community, the people who, who love us, who support us. And he has none of that and it, it takes a huge toll on him. But you've got a wonderful family, you've learned that lesson. You've got a cousin who thinks so much of you, thinks the world of you. So hold on to those relationships, especially today with what we're going through. This is, the world is turned upside down. In two months, the world is turned upside down. And we'll get through it, we will get through it. It's just difficult. Life throws nothing but curveballs. That's just what life is about. And you just have to embrace it. You learn how to hit curveballs. That's one thing about Batman that's so wonderful. He's so adaptable. And he doesn't let any of life's ambiguity embitter him. You can't allow it to embitter you. It's just part of the ride we're all on. And just know that we're all on the ride together. Everyone's in this together. And we'll get through this one. And then there'll be another one because Life is just ambiguous. 
It's full of nothing but curveballs, and you just learn how to hit curveballs. That's the joy of living, is dealing with the ambiguity of it all. And not judge yourself if you make a mistake. We all make mistakes. That's part of being alive. It's not about not making mistakes, because you will. It's about how you get back up after the mistake. So we'll all get through this lockdown period. It's frustrating. It's, it's um, difficult, very difficult for everybody. But we have to just be there for each other. It's all you can do. So remember, not only is Lord on your side, but Batman is on your side. So take care.